Hey everyone, this is Brandon with Pickleball Effects. I'm coming at you today with another experiment. This time we're toying around with lead tape. Adding lead tape to paddles is getting more and more common. And when you watch any sort of pro pickleball, it seems like every single player is utilizing lead tape in some sort of way. One of the most common reasons people will add lead tape is to add power to their paddle. So I wanted to play around with this idea. I was curious how much of a difference adding lead tape to a paddle actually made when it came to power. And I was curious if the location of the tape would make a difference. So to perform this experiment, I brought out my Selkirk Lab 003 and my speed gun. I took 10 measurements of me serving with the paddle with no lead tape, with lead tape in the top corners, and then with lead tape in the bottom corners. To make sure the control variable was the weight, I did this experiment in an indoor location so that things like wind wouldn't affect my measurements. And I also used some brand new X40 balls. So here are my results. With no lead tape, the 003 weighted 7.58 ounces. After hitting 10 serves, I got an average speed of 40.9 miles per hour. Next, I weighted it up to 8.25 ounces by putting the tape on the top two corners of the paddle. After hitting 10 serves, I got an average speed of 43.2 miles per hour. Then I moved the lead tape to the bottom two corners and kept it at the same weight of 8.25 ounces. After hitting 10 serves again with the weight in that location, I got an average speed of 42.8 miles per hour. Adding the weight to the top gave the paddle a 5.6% increase in power, while adding the weight to the bottom gave the paddle a 4.7% increase in power. I was surprised to see the results so close between the two different lead tape locations. I thought we would see a bigger difference between the top and bottom locations, but there was only a 1% difference, which equaled out to be like half of one mile per hour, which it seems pretty marginal to me. So after looking at these results, I came away with three different takeaways that we can learn from this experiment. First off, adding weight does add some power. I got a 5% increase in power by adding a little over a half a ounce in weight. Second, the location of the tape doesn't matter as much as I thought. When it comes to adding power, the location of the weight didn't really matter as much as just having the weight there in general. Third, adding weight will not turn a control paddle into a power paddle. If a paddle inherently doesn't have a ton of power, adding weight will not transform it. If you're looking for a significant jump in power, then you may just need a different paddle. So it turns out that adding power to the paddle is more of a matter of just adding the weight, not so much the location. And determining which location you want to put it is more of a personal preference. If you add the weight to the top, it makes the paddle feel a lot heavier than it does when I added the weight to the throat. Adding the weight to the throat still gave it that power boost I was looking for, but it didn't make the paddle feel as heavy as it did when I added the weight to the top. So my personal preference was to have the weight in the throat of the paddle rather than the top, but that's just me. So there you go, that was my experiment. I hope that helps.